go. Like a dark phoenix rising from the ashes, we return once more to our dark desk. This is really playing games, Starfinder against the Aeon Throne. I am the dark one they know as Graham, and for this cursed journey I am playing Murphy, the Patra Operative. Um, this is Brian. I'm gonna be playing Shardik, the uplifted bear technomancer, and hopefully I'll not lose my soul today. This is uh, Garrett playing Zyson, the Kasatha Solarium, hoping to survive this encounter as well. Uh, I'm Ross playing Yulia, the Waka Witch Warper, and I, um, I guess I didn't know until today that Dark Phoenixes were known for returning to Dark Tasks. That's the <laughs> primary feature. Yeah. I am Wait, also Ross. Is that what the new X-Men movie is about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grim starring in it. Uh, I'm also Ross. I'm playing Ozzy, the Soaking Mechanic, and Bobbert, his robot minion. And I'm Patrick. Uh, I think I'm actually going to kill somebody today. Uh, last time I said I thought somebody t was going to die, and that was because I thought we were going to get to this fight. So hmm. this now time, for for the real. boss fight. Uh, for a recap, oh, I could tell the whole story, couldn't I? Um, long story short, your friend was kidnapped by terrible Aslanti people. Um, you have found the people who have landed on this planet, occupied it. You've murdered most of them, uh, kind of barreled your way through this crashed ancient Aslanti ship. Um, kind of got into a little bit of a pickle last time, uh, but managed to get out okay. Uh, and finally, you, you opened this door um, through a restroom and found the lieutenant, the uh, Aslanti lieutenant named Sharu, who gave, I don't know, some kind of cliche speech about you've met your doom. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Uh, we are going to meet your doom. So let, how about we all... Oh, hey, hey before, before we do that, before we do that, um, I do need to bear my soul and beg for forgiveness. Um, the, these past many sessions, uh, I have been playing as if Murphy had the versatile movement ability that allowed him to climb and upon further reading i did not get that until fifth level so <laughs> i have cheated this entire time uh, uh also apparently trick attack you have to move first and then attack and i think there's a few times where i did the opposite uh so yep, i'm a dirty dirty cheater boy so if anyone deserves Give him to negative die today, levels it's me and uh, do you it again. instantly die. Uh, Sharu <laughs> shoots you, it goes straight through your brain. And you are dead. It, it only um, kills cheaters. <laughs> special, uh, special cheaters vein. <laughs> yes, the invoke cheaters. I vein. should probably read all of your like character rules to make yeah. sure you're not uh, doing stuff like I, that. that. Yeah. I okay. Uh, click on character. Oh, click no. On Oh, she rolled a 10. How sad. And then... I knew this would happen. <laughs> okay. First up, we have the captain. That's right. Um, I'm not even looking at her. <laughs> <laughs> um... Oh, so let me let me give you a little bit of, of actual description, actually. Sure. Um, first, I'd, I should probably re-describe the room for you, because it's been two weeks. Um, and there's at least one tactical bit that's going to be important. So uh, although the front of this wide bridge has been crumpled, the rest of the room is in good repair. The nearly shattered forward viewpoint show, viewport shows nothing but dirt and rock, with a few tough roots snaking in through the cracks an opulent captain's chair sit atop a dais and positions for the pilot science officer and gunner all seem ready for use which is funny because there are only three chairs i guess the third one is to the right um there's a chair here 
a complicated nope a complicated computer system to the right of the captain's chair has been carefully disassembled with its pieces around it neatly labeled as though from an archaeological dig three doors laid out to the west um so sharu is sort of s- s- sitting up kind of kneeling in the chair she has cover and to get around that cover you're basically going to have to go behind her uh the two cadets are sitting uh the the younger cadet is up here and she is also in the chair uh, of the station she has um, partial cover and the senior cadet is sitting in this chair and he also has partial cover again to get the the northernmost cadet you're kind of going to have to get over here ish to hit her without cover and this guy you could probably get to here um i feel like there was one other thing i wanted to mention but I do not remember what it is. I will tell you if it comes up. Oh, man, Zyson, why'd you roll a six? <laughs> no, I wanted to charge in there gloriously. <laughs> but, you know, I was caught in the bathroom. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move um, here. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of around corners. Where's the... Uh... What do you do to like make draw a line, um, like a a movement line with that shows the feet and stuff? Oh. You hold on the Q. Oh, no, you, you you hit the Q button, then you move, and then you hit the Q button again. Okay, Q or right click. I didn't know about that one. Oh, that's neat. Wait, right click where? Like click to hold your token down, and then right click to move to a space. Like you have to hold both mouse oh. buttons at the same time. No, 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 no. You just have to press the right mouse button while you're dragging your uh, toe. Yeah, that's a better explanation of what I was trying to convey. <laughs> so there, and then that's twenty. And then can I see the cadet to the cadet north? Right here, right? Um, did I just? Oh, right. She is. Whoops edit token don't edit token it is really laggy for me in the way that i've got things popped out you can definitely see her she um, again she, she again will have partial cover um so a plus two to her ac but you can absolutely see her from there and can i make a knowledge check on sharu yeah actually um so the rules for this say that it's life science but that makes no sense for a literal human carrying guns roll me a profession check okay this is going to be a hard one though Ooh. well a 25 <laughs> let me get the dc i think that gives you one Let's see, it's in skills, like the very beginning. So that, that bodes well for the night. Yeah. I mean, Good old. Humanoid that, life that's our only one I've, for the night. I've, yeah, I've um, used my only one. 15 hmm. plus one and a half her DR. So, yeah, you get <laughs> a piece of information. Um, does like what weapon she has? Would that, is that something that requires a knowledge check, or would I just know that? Um, I will let you use that roll to know what her weapon is. I that that could be your one piece of information. What is the weapon? Um, I want to. I guess I want to know. Like, do I know if Aeon guards typically carry like? some grenades or what their like usual complement of weapons is that is that too much usual complement of weapons i mean to be honest like if you want to see what she's carrying do a perception check right um um because that's not really something I mean, you know some of the weapons. You have some idea of the weapons that sh- that they are re- 
ported to carry but knowing like what is really typical and whether she's tip that that's kind okay. of a weird okay. question. I know it's a little bit of a stretch. Um Sure, what is she using? What gun? Okay. That seems like it would make sense with pre profession check. Yeah. So I'm actually going to pull out the alien archive here because it is it's on like page one basically Aeon Guard it is called well it's really boringly named actually it's an Aeon Guard assault rifle wow. um, it's an automatic weapon it, it does damage it's a kind of kind of a high-tech assault rifle basically okay it's i mean uh, there's nothing there's nothing super special about this particular gun okay and are those like typically analog or not analog uh no not okay uh i'm gonna get a shot off at this aeon guard cadet with a piss pistol okay laser pistol um Loop. Uh, full attack. Nope. See, told you. Yeah, an eight is definitely not going to hit her with cover. Anything okay. else that you would like to do? Nope, that's my turn. Okay. Next up is Ozzy. I'm gonna move do I have... up here. Causing the that door to open. Yes, it does open. See, that's what I get for like setting the moods where you can't see everything else. You yeah, no, yeah, I just ha I'm just I, gonna I, make I, you uncover this entire. I I, 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 <laughs> I kind of knew you probably would, because that's the smart thing to do. There you go. Room open. All right, then from a standard action, I'm taking direct control of Rob Bobber. Okay. And it moves to here, and then for the standard action, it's going to continue moving on word. Okay. So, interesting thing. I, I, I thought it was Murphy's job to find more bobs for, for us yeah, to fight. I'm not sure the doors are actually supposed to open for it. Yeah, no, they, well. For a, yeah, for it, it totally doesn't open for Bobbert. Oh. Aww. Yeah. There's a reason the zombies weren't able to get before. Ooh. Living creatures. Blast and open. Well, that's a wasted turn. I, I, I will let you do something else with Bobbert because you would know that if I had been uh, continuous with the... Actually, um... So the the does this door also have like a control panel type thing? Uh yeah. So I would uh, say uh, Yeah, I would like to kind of do the opposite of locking it if there's a way that I can force it open. <laughs> and okay. lock. Uh Ozzy uh, Ozzy. Bobbert could either make a strength check or I would even let you make an engineering check. Yeah, With that's Robert. that's what I'm gonna do, and because I'm using it with direct control or master control, I can use my skill ranks in engineering. For... Perfect. Mm. It's still not great, but still. Nice. Okay, twenty one's good enough. The door opens. Whoops, that polygon was not big enough. And that's about as far as it can go. Yay, manipulate our arms. Hmm. Is there a dark spot in that room? No, uh, it does clear. not look like it. Yeah, Great. Okay. Senior Cadet. <sighs> Let's see. He has a clear shot on zero people. So he's going to hold Shardik. He, he sort of looks to Sharu to see 
what she wants him to do. Is he on Overwatch? Overwatch. <laughs> uh, so Shiro has cover. Yes. That's just a, that's just a, a, a buff to her AC or a minus to my attacks. It's not like full cover or anything. It is. Uh, so you can see her. It is plus four to AC and plus uh, two to reflex saves. Oh, good. I think I'm a really good shot. I am going <laughs> to attempt to zap her with, let's say, electricity. All right. That's not the button I'm looking for. Let's hmm? see. So you're it's attacking. A 23 is... hit. It's electricity. Uh, it does hit. Haha, -ha, she takes two points of electrical damage. Two electric damage. All right. Okay, that's it, yeah. guys. I got it. We did it. We can go home now. I'm going to run away. <laughs> we did it. Uh, the... Are you moving? Uh, can I get under the bed? I don't want to um, get under the bed. I'm just going to like... No, you do not large. fit under the bed. <laughs> can I... Too can big. I get here? Can I like squeeze in between You're these two too beds? Too big. I mean, you could stand in between the beds, yes. That's that's my goal. Okay. Hey, I, I read a story about this. I'm gonna find the other bed, the other bed that is too big. Ah. Well, the oh. one, no, the one that's just right. <laughs> yeah. This cadet has a mm, clear, clear. Nope, not clear. So has a has cover. Yeah, Yulia would have cover against her as well. She's going to take the shot, though. <laughs> no full attack with the pacification rifle. 25 versus KAC plus 4. Uh, yeah. Okay. 4 piercing damage. Pew. And she does nothing for her move action. Sharu mm -hmm. is up. And I think. Oh, oops. Uh oh. Oh, God. I picked the right place to hide. So, whoops. Maybe the walls will. She would only get Yulia and Zyson. Because they don't go around corners. Well, because you're not in range. Well, and... mostly for Ozzy's sake. Yeah. Because Ozzy would be Sorry, in that pattern. Sorry, it pings but... every time I'm, I'm holding. Um, let's see. It would... No... There is... Oh, no, 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 no. That would obviously be going through the wall. So it would definitely... It it would just hit Yulia and Zyson. Or she could move. At me. Mm. In stabby range. You want to you nuke Murphy, too? <laughs> if she moves, she can spray Murphy. Then she's out of cover. She's put... What kind of person is Sharu? I believe... <laughs> she, she a conservative or a liberal? She's gonna... Yeah, she she's liberal gonna move with her right bandage? here. Oh, and she then is. she's going she to is. use her... She's very liberal. Uh, okay. Use her automatic weapon. In this circumstance, it's the one time it's she can bad. unload all of her cartridges. Oh, but wait, movement, uh, swift action. Okay, yeah. So she's going to move there. She's going to make an automatic attack against Yulia, Zyson, and Murphy. Key. Okay. Um. Yeah. So then. I'm going to manually roll this because I don't want to roll three attacks and choose options three times. Sure, sure. No, this so is, is this the automatic weapon special property? Yep. 
And is it is it hitting Murphy through a wall? Uh, so Murphy, she's doing it from here. Okay. Man. Um. Do I have any kind of cover? You so Yulia does. Let's see. Let me let me do the lines here. Because Yulia's, uh, I guess, through a wall. So I think Yulia has cover. Okay. Because this door is open. Yeah. Um, Zeisen just doesn't. Zeisen just gets just gets blasted, and Murphy yeah. has cover. So Yulia and Murphy will have a plus four to their AC. Zeisen, um, you just getting shot. So oh. Yulia, you get a sixteen versus KAC. Zeisen, a 26, well and a hit. Murphy, natural 20. Oh, it doesn't, can't crit. Fuck. Sorry, my cat's banging at the door. One second. <laughs> oh, shit. But that's like the rest of the ammo cartridge. Mm. So I'm assuming that missed Yulia. No. Oh, okay. Six, 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 Sixteen. Versus right. Against KAC, KAC, KAC plus, plus four. four. Your, K, oh, your, plus your four. KAC is yeah, you a twelve. Cover. Yeah, you have cover. Okay. I didn't know if you counted them. Okay. No. no. K, it is a KAC it is a bonus four. to AC, and I treat yeah, okay. it as such. Okay. Damage is one damage roll, nine piercing damage. She then drops her assault rifle, swift action, reaches behind behind her you hear a click and this long tiny tiny thin curved blade uh just snaps out into two pieces click clicks it together and then brings it into her right hand and looks at you Murphy. So is it a is it a two two blades or one blade? It is a single blade because it came apart. It was two pieces, and then she clicked it together into a single piece, and then is now holding it in her right hand. I want that one. Then. <laughs> I can't even use it probably. But <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, Murphy is gonna be uh, a bit more conservative. Uh, and not go fucking crazy anymore. Um, he's gonna like after getting shot with the the rifle, kind of kick this chair around and do like a little leap over the chair and just kind of move over to here, um, so he can try to get a shot at Sharu. Do I have a good shot from here? You uh, let me see. She has cover. Okay. Not that she'll have cover in any case. Uh, I will do my trick attack. And I'll do it right this time. Actually, I think you uh, you can do it from that corner. Because that is barely open. That's open. That's open. Uh, that is... I'm going to also call that open. Man, those diagonal rooms really mess up the grid <laughs> 20 plus one and a half or cr that's a fail with a 20 uh i thought it was uh, it's 20 plus cr yep uh 20 plus cr yeah i'm looking at the rules with a dc equal to 20 plus your target cr okay that will succeed yay five-footed against this laser pistol attack and i took weapon focus small arms Ugh. An 11 will miss. An 11 won't do shit, huh? Doesn't help if you roll a 4. Uh, Alright, that's my thing. Zyson, you're up. Uh, is Can I stand on this square here? Is this like a... Just immediately to the north? Yeah, you can do that. That's fine. Okay, and then I'm going to try and hit. Attack. Oh, oh no. no! Two ones. <laughs> you also you can't full attack because you moved. Oh no! I didn't mean to full attack. Sorry. 
Uh, in any case, oh, we'll, take the, we'll take the first one, which was still a natural one. So you swing this trident at her. Mm. Oh boy, May you don't even make it into the room. It clatters off the, the door. The bathroom. Uh, okay. The did I pull attack? I didn't mean to. You did You did pull you attack. Didn't. Oh, no, 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 you didn't. You just rolled you a one, one on the damage, one. too. Yeah. I rolled two ones. I, I yeah, did. Uh, just, my god. The one and yeah. one. <laughs> Senior cadet is going to jump in, so... Oop, that's the wrong person. Hold on. Senior cadet, here we go. I'm gonna jump in here so that he actually gets a turn and he is going to, well, he's gonna move. Gonna move to right here and he will shoot at Zyson, who he can shoot, but has cover again. Because he could not get could not get close enough. This is gonna be a regular attack with his tactical semi-auto pistol. Oh, that's three attacks. I'll take the first one. I don't know how that Click the wrong thing. Uh, 20 versus your KAC plus four. Dyson. Dyson? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. KAC plus four, 20? Uh, no, he misses. Okay. Uh, Thanks, the new armor. Sorry, my internet is a little wonky on me. Oh. Yulia. Um. Uh, one ten foot. So I am going to shift here. Okay. And um, I. I'm going to cast Grease there. On Ooh. this point? Uh, ten. I think it's a 10 foot. Are you cast area things on points, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. It says area or targets one 10 foot square or one object. So yeah, 10 by 10 square. A 10 by 10 square. Yeah, that's okay. a 10 foot square. Um, would I be able to move that one square south or no? I, I can't see that. Uh, as long as you can see the point you're targeting, sure. Can I uh, yeah, yeah, I just want to prove Yeah, you can see that. Okay, yeah. so I'll move, to move that down one. There we go, yeah. that one. That one looks good. Uh, so I'm going to cast uh, Grease there, so they have to succeed at a reflex save. Or fall pro. Okay, Senior Cadet rolls. Natural 20. <clears throat> Shara rolls. An 8! Yay! Falls prone. <laughs> so confident with your badass little sword, and then whoop! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, like, the Go flavor captain. would be I, uh. Um. Some of that flavor. Something about, like. You open a portal maybe, to the slime dimension. Ma manipulating <laughs> it so we're like, oh, maybe there's some engine oil on the, the floor from, mm -hmm. uh, like a nearby pipe or something like that that manifests itself uh, 
Yeah, so a creature can walk within or through the area at half normal speed with a successful DC 10 acrobatics. Uh, they fail, they can't move, and then have to make another reflex save. But if they don't move, they don't have to do anything. Okay. Uh, that is your turn, yes? Uh, yes. That's all for me. Ah, oh boy. Um... I'm going to... move... back down this way and once again use my standard to take full control of Bob there and open the door all right the door is now open oh do I not have to make an engineering check again uh actually yeah you should yep it's Bobbert. 14 is good enough Simple doors. They're not Shame. locked. All right, cool. Uh, would, would that be a standard action? Uh, that will be a move action since Bobbert has moved. It's equivalent. Okay. Um, in that case, yeah, I think Bobbert's going to shoot a little, uh, a little uh, bolty bolt at Sharu. Did he start there or did he move? Oh, he moved there. Yeah. So move, move. Oh, okay. I see. Also, Sharo is prone, so that would Sharo get advantage anyway. They they do get a bonus to AC she, being prone. Plus okay. two, I think. All right, well, cool. I'm done. Shardik. Who intelligently moved out of the automatic fire spray. By hiding in the beds. Oh, it's, yep. a, it's a plus four to your AC when plus prone four, versus okay. range, and minus four against melee. Go get him, Zyson. <laughs> That's what sure, I'm setting yeah. you up for. What would you like to do? <laughs> um, well, well, first of all, is Grease flammable? <laughs> I don't. Doesn't explicitly say so. It yeah, is magical, so I don't think so. Is it non-flammable or inflammable? Inflammable means flammable. What a country. <laughs> uh, I'm going to cast Magic Missile okay. as a full action. Alrighty, roll some damage. Uh, we we'll say full attack, yes. Submit. Oh, Man, oh wait, that's it's spell damage. Four, eight, eleven. <laughs> all the, the yeah. magic. Fuck your spell. I'm penetrating the fuck out of her spell resistance. Whoa! Uh, eleven damage to. <laughs> oh, 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 She's oh, got an XXX rated stream. <laughs> Bear <laughs> penetrates as Lanty. Jeez. Did, 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 did we not? Did we not? No, Mark, this is our rated. You, I you just. <laughs> No, it is. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, Cadet is going to move here. Wait, Shardik, wouldn't you have to move to do that? Don't, don't I have a... He I can see her. Oh, no, 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 you can. would. You, you, yeah, no. That is a wall. That's a wall. So you'll have to I, I, I thought this was the door. No, the door is here, and there's then a, he, there's, yeah. there is a wall oh. right here. So uh, you'll have to move to do it. Okay, and so then... I guess take off the last three. Okay. And I'll be standing here. I'm okay with that. I, 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 didn't, reali I, I didn't realize there was two doors. Oh, yeah, it's a bathroom. That's a yeah, yeah that's a they're bathroom, standing though. in the bathroom. Yeah. So, you have to, so you have to go through the bathroom to get from the crew quarters to the bridge. Well, unless you're yeah, Bobby. You can. You unless can also go through the around. hallway. There are two other ways to get there, but and the main hallway this way. <laughs> and the other hallway. Yeah, you have to go through the other bathroom. <laughs> That's the moldy bathroom. I don't know go down there. <laughs> Cadet's gonna move here and then shoot at. She has a clear shot on Yulia, so she's gonna do that. Twenty Ooh. for uh, seven piercing damage. Seven piercing. And now it's Sharu's turn. 
So she stands up as a move action. Mm -hmm. Or does she crawl? I think maybe she just crawls. Mm -hmm. Um. Doing a guarded crawl? <laughs> no, I'm not sure that you can do a guarded crawl. <laughs> hmm. And I'll well, look. Somebody gets to whack her. Depending on what to whack her. To. I'm a whacker. So I wish I wanted. You can crawl five feet as a move action. Crawling character is considered prone. Um, but for the... I um... think. But is the square she's in difficult terrain? It's not. No. But she will have to make an acrobatics check. At half normal speed. Mm. You can crawl. So she would move like two and a half feet. Huh. Huh. Yeah, I'm quite a greaser. Like, <laughs> well, she could use her action. Okay, so she's just gonna. um. That's weird. Uh... I mean, it says a creature can walk within or through the area of Grease yeah. at normal speed, but you would that assume that applies to other movement modes. I mean, I don't but think But cra crawling is specifically you use a move action I feel that would still provoke an attack of opportunity. For sure. Um, yeah, because you're not a... like you're not dodging while you're, you're not crawling. Crawl. And if she fails, she still can't move. It just seems really is. weird for her to just like crawl forward and run. Um, is she a crawler? <laughs> I think so. She creepy so she she's gonna crawl and make this I don't need to roll it manually. Acrobatics check. I bet she has a bonus to her acrobatics. Let's see, it's not zero. So it probably is just Oh no, okay. It's just her just her dex. Uh, she fails. So she, she can't did. move. She rolled a four. So she failed by five or more. Which means she falls prone. Again, but she's already and she already is. So she's so she's just gonna then Extra stand prone. up as her as her standard action. <laughs> um Yeah. So she spends her turn Fuck yeah. Just roll practically rolling around in the uh, yeah. in in the grease murphy cc master <laughs> nice um let's see now might be a good time to make a move actually she's all prone and shit well she's no she stood up she's no she's no longer prone oh that's right she stood up oh well, so then... did, did, did all that splashing around get provoke a uh, because she wasn't guarded. Yeah, I think I mean, she didn't I actually think she, move. Yeah, she definitely. Yeah, definitely. So, Zyson, yes. if you want to make an attack of opportunity, oh. yes, I do. Absolutely, do absolutely, I do. While, while, and it def it happened while she. Yes. A twenty-two it. will hit for six piercing Minimum damage. damage. Nice. Great. Okay, you you axle. swipe her across <laughs> the front of her armor. Murphy. Stop rolling ones. Mm -hmm. Um, all right. Uh, Murphy is just going to close in a little bit. Um, kind of come dodge between Zyson and Yulia and try a trick attack against Sharu. Uh, twenty won't do that. I don't think though. Nope. Oh, here's a lage pistol. Uh, 21. Versus EAC will hit. Yeah. Five damage. Okay. 
So you, you, you did your max damage, which is five, and so I said that minimum damage, <laughs> damage, damage is six. Next, mm. did you did you move Murphy? Yeah, you did. Yeah. Right. Yep. Sison. Okay, I'm going to enter graviton mode. Use my movement action to start up uh, dark matter, which gives me the minus or gives me the one damage reduction. My my action to smack her again. Hopefully hitting. Mm -hmm. yep. A nice. A twenty's gonna hit for another nine damage. Man, you're just you are kind of tearing her to pieces here. <laughs> uh getting that weapon specialization at level three. Anything nice. else? Uh, no, I can't do anything else. I'm stuck. Yeah, it's such a huge boost. Yeah. I mean, that great. Way. Plus one damage. Plus three for him. Yeah, he gets oh. plus three. He has yeah, actual for weapons. That. <laughs> Yeah, it's for non. To... If it's not a. Um... Yeah, for non operative weapons and. For, for uh, operative weapons and small arms, it's half your level. Yeah. For everything else, it's your entire. Yeah. Good thing I'm an operative. Hey. Check the senior kid. Good thing I'm a mage and get, like, no weapons. <laughs> I strongly considered uh, trying to get long arm proficiency. Mm, it'd be nice. <laughs> it's always long arms lying around. God. But I figure Bobbert can do that thing, kind Bobber. of thing. Bobbert's strong. Bobbert's so strong. 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 Bobbert. And if it turns out that I don't like it, I can rebuild Bobbert. No. Oh. <laughs> but why would you ever? So, so precious. I had ideas. Cadet. Oh, dude, MVP. <laughs> Is going to try to make the acrobatics check. Where's my button? That is a 16. So he succeeds and he moves at half speed. So it'll be 10. 20. Um. And then he's going to. So uh, it says a creature that doesn't move on its turn doesn't need to attempt this check and isn't considered flat footed. What is that not like? What exception? What rule is that proving the exception for? Uh. A creature can walk within or through the area of Greece at half normal speed with a successful DC 10 acrobatics check. I think if you don't move, you don't have to make that check. Right, but what is the flat-footed? When does that come in? I know if you're if you're walking across a slippery surface. Oh, that's right. Yeah, there's like acrobatics. Only during rules. the move or for the. Mm, like probably an is, acrobatics. is it automatically it is flat in acrobatics for the round? Uh, Balance. Yeah, from balance. You're While burning. balancing, you are flat-footed. So it would, okay, it would so basically just, just be move. for yeah. Yeah, once he's off for the duration. Got it. And then the cadet is going to attack Yulia again. Except this is with the tack lash, because remember, mm. the tack lashes also have reach. Those tack lashes got me down last time. Mm -hmm. Fucking tack lashes. Out of there, Captain. Pull up, pull That's back. That's a 23 against KAC. I can't shake him. For 8 <laughs> slashing damage. Ow. On Ow. Yulia. It is now Yulia's turn. Um. I think. I have a clear shot on this cadet, right? Um, I am going to, uh, as I like to do, drop my, um, oh, then I have to back up, because I have to 
do it as part of a move action. And if I'm back here, then they have like full cover or partial cover or soft cover. Soft cover because of yeah, def definitely soft cover and possibly more depending on the angle. But also, but that that only really matters if you're is the only. Yeah. Okay, I'm just gonna. I am going to uh, do. Uh, harrying fire on um, I guess Sharu because we've been hitting her okay and then I'm going to back up after that so let's see harrying fire Fourteen is a failure. Oh. Your target was fifteen. No. No. Okay, uh, and then I will back up to. Okay. The cadet will take an attack of opportunity because you are leaving. Oh yeah, the His reach extends. Square. Can I shift there. here? <laughs> no, you can't shift nope, back. No, you cannot shift through the wall. Okay. I mean, you uh, you 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 can yeah. guard its step on a diagonal, but that would be going be a standard action through the wall. Huh? Okay, I'm just gonna move then. Okay. Ugh, okay, the first one is a 14. Versus. It's Casey. Uh, I'm gonna delete nope. these. He's multiple. You got a 15? Uh, no, because technically I have mobility, you, so you... I am a plus four to my... Hey. Not not technically, you have mobility. <laughs> awesome. You just got it. <laughs> um, does this table have enough leg room where I could just, like, duck and move under it without uh, it being difficult terrain? Um a short guy I uh, you would have to go prone you can't walk under it really I'm only like two t uh, three feet tall okay yeah this table is not three feet tall <laughs> okie dokie it is a relatively low it is, a, it is an I'm gonna go table. this way alrighty what's Bobber gonna do uh, I would like to also use my move or my standard action to move again. Okay. So open that door. Open the pod bay doors, Patrick. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. <coughs> and the door. Yeah, the door opens automatically. You don't have to press a button or anything. Right. And, okay, move to there. Bobbert is going to shoot at the uh, the senior Aeon Guard Cadet. Okay. Pew, pew. Mm. Wow. Nice. Natural 20. <laughs> so, arc 2. Nice. Uh, Does 2 damage to the closest? That's right. So which is it your I choice? think would be Sharu. Uh, well, I, I well here's what I would do if I were DMing. I would say that uh, given the choice between adjacent, uh, straight. Uh, yeah, I I I think by the rules that's not how it works. I think well, you can, it's it's your choice it's, around the first diagonal. They're all adjacent, so. All right, it's still going to be Sharu. <laughs> and that is two damage for her. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you choose if multiple creatures Zap. existent, so. Uh, Shardik. <laughs> Bear. Uh, I'm gonna try this magic missile thing again. Okay. And I'm gonna really do a full action this time. Really, really. Like, like not a fake one like last time. Hmm. <laughs> Ten damage. Bell penetration. Five. <sighs> 
She's looking rough, guys. Good. Uh, she, she challenged us. She Aeon Dark she Cadet is going to shoot. She can move and have a clear shot on Bobart. She can go after Zyson. She's going to take the chair and then shoot Zyson who definitely has soft cover over the guard in Four. Charu. Four? Tacy? Yeah, so it's 17 versus KAC plus four. I don't even need the, uh, yeah, no, no luck. Okay. Ah. Sharu is gonna the make an armor. acrobatics check. I don't it's know why DC these soldiers ten. are... Yeah, yeah. These guys have 13. These guys have plus one to dexterity. Plus one. That's it. No bonuses to acrobatics. So, Zyson, you get an attack of opportunity. Comes for your oh. face. Yes, I do. Here we go. A 13 no, against KC misses. Is she flat-footed because she's moving it? Out of the grease. Uh, it doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Still misses. Um. So she is going to attack. Finally. <laughs> Let's see. Can she murder Zyson in one shot? Oh. The literal <laughs> answer is yes. The actual answer. Twenty versus your KAC. Oh, and I, uh, that will hit because I do not have cover. 13 slashing damage. Ouch. And Murphy. Okay, that was all of your stamina. All right. What the fuck are we going to do? Um, just not fooling around. She's coming for blood. Uh, I'm for just sure, going to, sure. like, from where I am, go like, hey! And kind of do a backflip in, in place and then try a trick attack against Sharu. Okay. A standing backflip? Is that necessary? <laughs> yes. Because I use acrobatics for my trick attack. I have to use acrobatics every time. You could do like a split or something. You, you don't have to use acrobatics. You have That's another good. op. No. I'm uh, 29 is good enough. Needless parkour. Laser pistol. I feel like the intention is that you were like contouring to like get a better shot. 23 hits for four plus more six damage. 10 points of laser damage. All right. Backflips are absolutely necessary. All right. Boy, she's she's looking rough, guys. Mm -hmm. Awesome. I mean, I feel like she looked rough. I forgot to do my damage reduction from the. Oh, yeah. You get one hit point back. Yeah. Boop. Okay, uh, well, it's your turn. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep up that, uh, get him, matter or whatever, okay. uh, with my movement, and I'm gonna smack at her. Oh, a ten is not good oh. enough. No. You swing oh. with your blade and miss. Well, that, that's my, that's my action. Senior cadet is just gonna. You twice, I guess. Yeah, senior cadet's gonna shoot twice. It's that's a massive penalty though. It's like a minus eight, so he's actually just gonna shoot once because. I'm gonna check the ruler though. Corner. Yeah, no, you 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 don't get a bonus for standing up against the wall, but Shar is in the way, so you are gonna get soft cover. So just one shot. Okay. Uh, Twelve is gonna miss your KAC, Zyson. Definitely. 
and uh, move Touch action. Today. He's gonna. Oops. He's gonna move here. There. Yep. Right there. And have you used your reaction, Sison? Uh, yeah, just... when Charu approached. Well, he just yeah. went. Does it reset? Oh, he on just went. Yeah, oh, it was, it was just your turn, so you can you can make another. You can make yeah. a. Let's do it. Attack. Let's do it, because I don't think anyone's run away from me in a little bit. Fourteen will. Oh, I didn't put it on the pop-ups. I think that hits. That hits. For yeah. nine. Oof. Ouch. Nice. These guys are not super beefy. Okay. He Look, sort of charges at you. Probably should have done that first. Uh, next is Yulia. Um, I'm going to move there. And do they get bonuses to cover for herring fire? No, it's just a, it's just, it's a DC. It's not even. Okay. Um, I'm going to try herring fire against the kid. Okay. Against Sharu. Hearing fire against Sharu. That's okay. what I'm doing. Get him. An 18 is a success. Nice. Take her down. Take her down. <coughs> Ozzy. Okie dokie. Ozzy's uh, moving up into here, pulling off uh, one of the incendiary grenades around his uh, belt. And he's going to baseball pitch one uh, at this intersection right here. Okay, make an attack roll. It does have cover. So the DC is nine. Yeah. Range attack roll. You got it. You got this. Nice. Yeah. Okay, 15. All right, so they make reflex saves. Yes. Sharu has cover, which is a plus two. So that is a 14. And the cadet rolls a 16. Okie dokie. So it's 10 plus half the items level plus your dex 14. bonus. Yeah, that's 14. OK, so they both pass. What about the senior Aeon guard? Uh, it's 10 feet. OK. Yeah. Senior will also have. Oh, no, it's just, it's just a five foot radius. My bad. So they uh, each so will take uh, one fire damage. Every point counts. Yep. Sure does. Oh, that's right. It only has to go to the edge of theirs. Only has to go to the edge of theirs. I don't know. Never mind. And Bobbert's going to crawl around this way and shoot at the Aeon. Oh, wait. No, it can't because I did two things. So it yep. can only do one thing. So it next round, out. it will have a clear shot. It will have so many clear shots. Shardik. Uh, Shardik is going to try to energy ray the Sharu. Okay. You, get, you get a plus two to attack. That's you right. do. Does that cancel? And no cover. No, she she totally has cover. She has all the, co all the soft cover. <laughs> she has triple soft cover. Not that it matters. Yeah, which is... uh, Wait, uh, that was the wrong your... one, sorry. I meant yeah. to click this button. 
Mm. So uh, a nine 11? is not going to do it. Huh? An eleven huh? definitely is is not even really close. Oh, it don't kill me. <laughs> Dad. Oh, did you want to move? Um, I do, but I don't think I'm going to stay here anyways. Okay. Cadet's going to turn around and shoot Bobbert. Because. How dare you? Why are you here? They're not going to kill you. Stupid robot. What'll it be? What'll it be? It's a natural 20. No. <laughs> no. Uh, six piercing damage. Robot, no. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, that's not bad. These guys are... They're not very strong. Uh, and then she's not gonna move. Sharu is gonna... Ago, that would've What's been that? so much more. Not, not long ago, that would've been like 60% of his HP. <laughs> exactly 60% of his HP. Sharu is going to full attack. Up. Holy shit. Oh no, that was the last one. Okay. She misses twice. <gasps> it's Natural a miracle. one. Nice. And an 11. Wait, she can't. No, she can roll an 11. Okay. Uh, yeah, she rolled real bad. Swing, swing. Zyson fighting that wrong. doesn't hit Zyson once. Murphy. All right. Um, I thought she crit. That would have been for the bad. reach. That would have been really bad. Yeah, that, that would have been like, by my friends. <laughs> uh, while she's swinging wildly at Zyson, um, I want to do like uh, uh, leaping off the door frame and kind of coming down at an angle to shoot her uh, while she's cough guard and try another trick attack against her. Okay. 29. 29 will do it. It's, it's better than a standing back flip. <laughs> and then I do a back foot on top of that. <laughs> oh, but a 10 man versus this. flat foot of the AC. Motherfucker. Zyson? Okay, I'm keeping up my my pitiful, like, minus one damage reduction, but I'm gonna smack at uh, Charu. This Aeongara Charu. Gonna kill me. I gotta kill her first. Get him. Nice. Nice. Twenty-one will do it. Twelve damage. Twelve damage. <laughs> you bring your pike down. Fuck yeah. And you oh. sever her head. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is uh not how I expected this fight to. I mean, Grant will tell you. See, I did not see Greece. Coming. Whenever huh. you make a big boss encounter, it takes like one round for the party to just completely dismantle. She the like <laughs> pull out all stops. Like, if she crit Zeisen, she could probably one shot him. Oof. Uh, I senior Cadet <laughs> is gonna senior full attack fall. Zeisen. Oh no, he's enraged. Yes, well, Commander has fallen. And they don't surrender apparently. So yeah. oh. these guys don't. So that's an eight. Hmm. Oh. And a 22. Oh, well, that'll hit. Seven slashing damage. Okay. She. Yulia. Um. Let's see. Time for another spell, right? Yay. Um. expect me Let's to keep, actually hit anything keep the pressure on and um what is the ant guard using to attack Tyson with which one the just senior. there the senior the senior he's using his tack lash oh okay uh so that wouldn't do anything really then because he can't well no he yeah, uh, I'm going to cast Fear on the Senior Aeon Guard Cadet. So will Five. <coughs> nice. Okay. Uh, yep. Um, I think I'm going to hang out here then. Ozzy. 
Share your prayer, scumbag. And uh, I'm gonna sh <laughs> uh, 23 mm -hmm. will hit for two fire damage. Nice. And another one from Bobber. Alrighty, a 20 oh will God. also hit for Fucking seven Bobber. fire damage. Bobber is literally a machine. He's a machine? Absolute unit! A unit. And that's it, yes. That is it. Shardik. Um, how bad does the cadet look? Both of them look bad. I mean, but... Okay. But th this one is on the ground? No, no. he's currently feared. Uh, that one looks very afraid of Yulia. That's right. Apparently terrified of dogs. He won't make it or out dog of here persons. alive. Okay, I I'm I'm gonna energy ray that one. Okay. And I'm gonna use fire this time. A fourteen is gonna miss. Uh, and I'm gonna be sad. With soft cover. Uh, it is now the Lil Cadet's turn. Um, she's gonna look around her uh, and see if she can get some vengeance on Zyson. That's probably not gonna work, but man, they're all coming for me. That's right. You, you, you killed their leader. At this but point, that, it's does well that mean Zyson's a new leader? Or it's like you know, tribal combat. <laughs> Apparently not, because she rolls a one. Uh, and is, boy, move action. She's going to move over here to hide behind the chair from Bobbert. Um, Ozzy's still going to have a clear shot on her, but at least Bobbert's on the other side. Uh, Sharu is no longer in the initiative by virtue of no longer being alive. Murphy. All right, still mopping up this mess. I'm going to do... Uh, well, he's a feared, yeah? Yep. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Um... Murphy is gonna... Well, he might still... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Captain, should I shoot this one? I yell take, him, take him all down. <laughs> all right, I do have another backflip and try to trick attack the a feared senior Aeon Guard cadet. It's twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is a success. And the laser pistol. Seventeen versus the eight. Seventeen will hit for three plus six is nine plus six. fire damage. You eliminate the cadet, <laughs> senior cadet. Good call, Captain. His fear amounted to nothing. Except for perhaps some uh, some wet underpants. <laughs> Zyson. Yeah, Zlanty Bastard's what for? Okay, well, we just got the one left. Uh, with reach? Do I. Probably have to go there, I think. I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe. From there, you can. Yeah, do you want to hit the cadet? You can. I do. I want to, you know, I'm on a smacking spree. <laughs> she. Let me see. Killing she spree. Real quick. Push off. Oh, Oops. womp womp. That uh, doesn't matter. You miss. Uh. Anything else? No, that's all I can do. And I don't have the minus one damage reduction anymore. Yulia. Um. I'm going to... Did you... Why, do, why don't you have the DR anymore? Are you at three? Sison. Hmm? Are you... Did you hit three? Or did, did you switch to photon? I, sorry, I'm having trouble hitting you. Did I... So, did I do what, sorry? Why, why don't you have the minus one? Oh, because I moved. And I have to use my movement phase to get the minus one bonus. Oh, okay. Uh, Yulia. Um, 
Uh, I'm gonna oh, move. That's a different. Okay. Different ability. Uh... In case you're curious. So if I'm here, will I get any cover from this chair for the cadet? Um. Let's see. The way it is, I think you would. Neither of you would have cover. Neither of us would. Neither of you would have cover because you're both next. You're both here. You are both next to the chair. Oh, okay. That's how that works. Yeah, it's 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 weirdly large. This is like a an eight foot chair. It's the captain's um, chair. It is the captain's chair. Hmm. <laughs> it is literally the captain's. Says anyone who has ever been on a ship. Sure, I'm gonna move there. Um, and I'm going to uh, drop my pistol, I guess, back here. And I'm going to take out this hunting rifle. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna shoot her with a hunting rifle. Hmm. Alrighty. Take an attack roll. Yeah. Uh, now that I have a clear shot on somebody. Um, and eight misses. Mm. Ozzy. I'm just going to charge her climbing over this computer. Uh, bringing out my tactical baton and trying to beat her over the head with. Okay. 17 will hit. And awesome. you hit her in the face and her face caves in. <laughs> you have defeated Yay. the Islam team. Yes! <laughs> we did it. Great job, guys. All right. So what let's were these people what... doing in here? Yeah, let's see what they were digging into. Yeah. So you um, you are searching the room, I, I assume. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Uh, so you see this right here is um, a, a disassembled parts. There's a computer. Um, that is taken apart and carefully labeled in Aslanti. The parts are labeled. Um, it appears that there has been some work done on this computer. Um, most of the rest of the bridge is... So it's interesting that the rest of the bridge, other than the damage at the front, actually looks like... It looks like a usable starship. Um, you imagine something, something must have protected the bridge from damage because... The rest of the ship, a lot of the rest of the ship looks like shit. Uh, other than the bashed in front, this this actually looks pretty good. So many questions. Why the zombies? Why that necro guy that we dealt with? Um, I would also like to search the Aeon Guard and see okay. what she has on her. Yeah, so you look at her, um, and she has, obviously, she has her armor, her Aeon Guard armor. Um, there's the gun she dropped. There's her blade. And then she ha she's also carrying two data pads. Um, and I think that's it. Check. Can I open up the data pads? Um, Not, like, literally she open She also up. has a motion detection badge on her uh just like the one that you got at the very beginning in like episode two mm -hmm. Neat. i had to give away uh the armor is it heavy armor 
Yeah, so um, you'll need to make some checks to identify the things. Can um, I take her assault rifle? You can certainly take her assault rifle. So it would be engineering checks to um, identify the gear. Or, of course, Yulia, you can make a profession check to identify the weapons. Uh, Incidentally, it occurs to, at some point here, it, it occurs to one or all of you who have a wisdom <laughs> of 10 or above that Yulia knows a lot about guns. <laughs> That's right. Of course she does. Uh, the captain. Would anyone like to roll a thing? A thing? About the weapons? Yeah, does anyone want to identify this? I want to find out what that sword thing is. I'll take okay. care of it. How many? Three? Three. Gun, sword, armor. Gun, sword, armor. Okay, so the gun and the armor, you definitely get the sword. Maybe not. So the um, the gun is... Well, I mean, you kind of already know what it is. It's... Um, I guess Yulia didn't shout it out. The gun is Sword. an Aeon Guard assault rifle. Um, and it does not have anything special really about it. It is automatic, has 12 rounds, usage one, range 80 yeah. feet. It's just, it's in the Alien Archive. Um, I I discourage you from looking at the, the, the entry for Aeon Guard. Um, she was not literally an Aeon Guard. She was stronger than that, but you're fighting these guys, so you probably shouldn't look at these two pages, but yeah. I just looked yeah. specifically at the block for the weapon. Yeah, it's it's a level 3 assault rifle, does 1d8 piercing, no crit, 12 rounds, and automatic one usage. Range of 80 feet. Uh, which is why the spray had a range of 40 feet. Uh, and you definitely got the armor, so you're actually going to need to make a couple mysticism checks here. Oh, that's the, how it's hard on my wheelhouse. Because the... Actually, no. So so it's um, Aeon Guard Trooper Battle Dress, which is heavy armor, um, but it has two upgrades. So one of the upgrades is specifically an Aeon slot. Um, with that check, you you probably have heard that uh, the Aeon or the the Aslanti Star Empire soldiers are kind of famous for using um, Aeon stones to power their equipment. Um, soldiers and more than soldiers, actually. So she has one slotted in her armor, which provides her some sort of benefit. Actually, no, you would know. It provides you the benefit of the Aeon stone slotted in the armor without having to have it hover around your head. Um, whether you know much about how that works, I don't know, given that that's a mysticism. Um, it is heavy armor. It's level three. Do I really need it? To, did anybody take heavy armor proficiency? Probably not, right? Oh, Do you care? Nope. No. Um, it also has. How much is it worth? I thought about it... taking. I thought about taking the feet to get proficiency, but I'm not strong enough. Yet. Uh, uh, I have six... twenty-three for the sword. One thousand six hundred and fifty. So you could sell it for ten percent of that. Um. And then, uh, it also has a targeting computer mm -hmm. attached to it, Ooh. which is an upgrade. Uh, that allows you to ignore, uh, ignore, what is it? Not cover, ignore concealment, hmm. which is obviously not a factor in this fight. Hmm. The sword, so you pick it up and look at it, and you notice that etched in it are the words inevitable downfall. In Islanti? Ironic. In Islanti. It's the oh. name of the sword. Um, and I thought I was cocky. This is a this is a, she, she is a really cool stat block, guys. She does a lot of damage. She has a really high to hit, and oh man, 
Oh, man. She just didn't get a chance. Um, That Grease. Grease combined with the fact that she attacked, like, she doesn't stay put. If she would have stayed put, she would have been Okay, I need skill to see if you know much about the weapon. Identify a weapon. Identify creatures. It might be in. Is it a living? Recall knowledge. Eh, do you get a bonus to identify stuff? You do, Me. right? You do? No, I don't think so. So, identify <laughs> technology. It is less common technology. 10 plus one and a half. Okay, you succeed. Um, it is, inevitable downfall is a carbon steel curve blade. Mm. And it has two uh, upgrades in it which are a mysticism check to identify carbon steel curve blade uh is an advanced melee weapon which means that zyson can use it if he wants to right it's uh, 1d10 damage that's a lot, that's a lot of damage uh, with, mysticism. with, with Oops, bleed crit a 10 uh they're only <laughs> I'm just going to look this up real quick. Because the DC is pretty low. Roll another one for me on the second one. So the second one is it has the dispelling uh, weapon fusion. Which on a crit allows you to cast dispel magic. Ooh on I think on the target um how do you upgrade the first one can you the first one is out what can you like take upgrades out of a weapon yes yes you can it's a, a transferring a fusion is a mythicism hmm. chat oh but you have to put it into something else you can't just like hold on to it um I thought you could. There's like a way to a fusion. Yeah. Seal. Well, you you, oh, you like I don't think thing. you I don't think you can make a fusion. It's possible to place a weapon fusion into a physical object called a fusion seal that can be affixed to a specific weapon and even moved among different weapons. I'm not sure that there is a um, fusion seal though. I think the idea is you usually buy a fusion seal. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'll let you take it out if you want to onto it. I was just curious if that was a thing that was possible. And then the other one is called. You can uh, call the item to your hand as a swift action. Ooh. Cool. That was a really good blade. A called dispelling carbon carbon steel curve blade. Uh, if you crit with it, you can choose whether to dispel or Make to bleed. do bleed. Ow, you that is just good. have to give up your reach. Well, that's true. I guess nobody he, else ever does melee. Well, he he got four arms. That's true. Actually, you don't. He got four. He can do both. You totally don't. <laughs> I could I could have offhanded. Eric Kasapa. You can have both. You can have oh both. Oh my stuff. god. <laughs> you can have the pike, the curve blade, and a uh, hmm. and a gun. I, Tactical I think it's a, pistol. I, I think it's two. <laughs> The, anyway, the so blade's two-handed. That's so. that's her gear. Um, the other two have the standard gear that you find on all. Um, they have the they have armor, um, a rifle, a tactical semi-auto pistol, a few bullets, uh, and a tack lash and a knife. Um, and bullets are universal, right? Yeah. Rounds, um, rounds. I'm yep. sorry. For small between small arms. Well, small arms and... versus. Long, long arms, but like my 
for instance, my rounds from the hunting rifle, I can take out and put in the Aeon Guard assault rifle, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and she also has some extra... She has, like, she has 30... Hold on. Because it I'm carries gonna... 12. So she has 35 uh, extra rounds, extra long arm rounds. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to hand the data pads to who's next to me. Um, Ozzy. Also, okay, you, okay. Can, you can take the Aeon Stone out of her armor if you want. It is not permanently slotted. Yeah, you should okay. figure out what that does. Um, I'm going to look at it. The Aeon Stone. 13. Uh, 13 is going to be, I think, enough because it's a level one. Get up here. I did not look up all of the DCs. I believe this is the most boring of Aeon. Is it a clear spindle? <laughs> it is a clear spindle, Aeon Stone. Mm, um, cool. Yeah, so you, it is a level one, so you, and it's pretty, pretty common. Um, so you succeed on finding, finding that out, that it is a clear spindle, Aeon Stone. Um, as long as you use it, you do not have to eat or drink. That's pretty cool. Yeah, neat. I'll pocket you're it. wearing her armor, you can slot it. Otherwise, you just, like, place it. Let's see. At a distance of three inches to three feet, as you prefer, but always outside any armor or helmet you wear. Can you, like, pocket it? Yes. Okay. You can just take it. Um, they can be attacked directly or grappled. So someone can try and take it away from you if they really... If they really want to not have to eat, um, the uh, the other the two guards also have uh, some rations. Notably, she does not have any food on. Uh, you can probably guess why. Right. Um, if you look around very closely, the bathroom has been. Um, what else would you like to do or explore? We had to figure out. We can't figure out why they were here, though. There's the well, computer the... that's in pieces. Yeah, uh, so I'm going to examine the pieces of the computer. What okay. about the data pads? Uh, Ozzy has them, so... Awesome. Oh, you yeah, were given... Into those. You gave them to me? Oh, I'm going to look yes. at them. Hmm. I was writing things down. Yep. Charlie can look at the computer, you can look at the data pads. Murphy just stands outside. Murphy's like a little timid in this situation. He's standing outside the door, kind of guarding it, just stand, standing back a little bit. Okay. Chardick, give me an engineering check. Murphy timid? How unusual. Yeah, so um, this computer has been taken apart pretty methodically. Um, it would take a long time to put it back together. Um, it's, it is, this is not the a home PC. This is intricate. Um, and putting it back together is a lot more difficult. She used, she appears to have used shorthand. So even though you can read her language, um, you know, there, there are some notes and it's sort of like, it's, it's organized. It's much less obvious how it fits back together. At least you could do it. You could, you're very confident you could do it, but it would probably take you a few weeks to put it back together and, and turn it back on. I probably don't have a few. Can I take all of the pieces and bring them back and assemble this computer somewhere else? Or does it have to be assembled here? Sure, you can do that. Um, make a culture check for me. Uh, uh, hmm. 15's good enough. Uh, so you know that this computer um, withstood the gap. It's interesting. It's always interesting finding something that came from the gap. 
um, because there will yeah, be know. some. <laughs> I know that's, that's where you get all my pants. <laughs> like, <laughs> get some khakis. Um, uh, yeah, it's it, it's very very fashionable if you're like 14. Um, and cheap. Um, <laughs> you uh, so there will be you know that there will be pieces of data missing. Um, anything related to like time is almost certainly going to be gone. Um, but there may very well be some interesting stuff. I mean, this is ancient Aslanti, an ancient Aslanti computer. If you can get it working again, it could be, it could be real interesting. Okay. I mean, I'm gonna start collecting all the pieces, and, and I have a project right. to work on, I guess. And then, uh, let's see, who else wanted to do something? I'm looking at the data pads. Aha. Okay. So there are two data pads. Um, one is clearly, um, they're both, you can tell, as Lanty design. Shocker. Um, one looks more sort of industrial, almost. Um, and the other is really elaborate. It's um, It has gold um, sort of inlaid in it. And there is an Aeon stone in the back of it. Oh. Interesting. All right, I would like to try to access um, the industrial looking one. Already, give me a computer's check. A 20. I am certain is good enough. 20 is good enough. So you determine pretty quickly that this is Sharu's personal data. The industrial one. All right. So, one second. It contains notes and reports of Sharu's. Um, you're able to find uh, here are some, you know, so it, it has, a again, it's reports and notes, so there's a lot to go through. Uh, but here are some highlights that you, you grab um, off the top, and then if you have any questions, you may be able to find some other stuff. One, uh, there are references to a superior officer called Sardat Zolan Uli Vestra, who ordered the Barazad to occupy Nakandas and locate the Royal Venture and Rune Drive. Two, reports from Master at Arms Olaraja from the time the Aslanti landed on the Condus until Lieutenant Shari's group departed for the Royal Venture crash site. Three, confirmation that Sedona and the Rune Drive were captured and returned to the Star Empire aboard the Silver Needle, a courier ship bound for a prison moon known as Galta. Uh, one, two, three, four, the Silver Needles. needles proposed flight plan which notes a security checkpoint requiring an aslanti transponder code and five charu's logs from her time on the royal venture in which she has spent days attempting to access an ancient data pad from before the ship was wrecked sorry it's not the data pad she has spent days attempting to access the uh computer from before the ship was wrecked and successfully accessed uh, an ancient data pad that she also had in her possession. Okay. Um, it notes uh, that... No, that's it. Um, yeah, it, it, it just talks a little bit about those. And I will fix this here. Uh, first question that springs to my mind is how did the superior officer know that the that the ship was here? That is uh, unknown. That was um, if he told uh, if he yeah she she was not told that she's not privy to that information. All right. At least at least from from what you have. Um, uh, so prison moon of Galta. <laughs> can we uh, can we linger on that one for a minute? You gonna do like a Kessel run or something? <laughs> well, 
That sounds bad, right? A prison moon sounds pretty fucking awful to me, so, uh... Maybe some forced labor involved? Oh, it's cheaper than a prison space station, by my reckoning. Not, not exactly my point. Um, I, I think we should go rescue Sedona, eh? Well, that's, of course, of course. That's been the plan from the start, I think, right? Right. Um, but it says we need a, a transponder code to go through the security checkpoint. The, I'm assuming the that's the quickest way to get to Galta is through the security checkpoint. Oh yeah, straight up. Uh, when you sort of examine the um. Actually, make me a piloting check. I'll do that. I'll go look. <laughs> make yourself I'm, use. I'm a good piloting at, check about I'm, what? Though, I'm just being a little more cautious now, all right? Just give me a moment. I rolled a 2 and got a 15. Well, 15's good enough. Um, <laughs> Thank God. So, examining it, it maybe takes you a little more time than I feel like it should. You're a little shaken up for some reason. I am. Um... You realize that the checkpoint isn't like a specific location. It is a zone around, a relatively large zone hmm. around this moon. So there isn't really a going around it. I mean, you could maybe try and barge through. It doesn't say what the defenses are. Um, but yeah, you're, you're, you're going to have to go through it one way or Usually a prison has pretty decent defenses, I think. Usually you're trying to keep people in, right? You don't necessarily try to keep people out. Well, yeah, yeah but... still but... have the weapons. And part of the, part of the keeping the people in uh, includes keeping people out. You know? Oh. I guess. Um, sometimes people <laughs> in have people who want them out. Exactly. And people who are out want people that are in. Um, so, so yeah. this proposed flight plan. So, the Silver Needle was what she was on, and that went out, apparently, to this prison moon. Do I know anything about this prison moon, or is it specifically, like, Aslanti information? No. Okay. No. Um, I'm not even going to make you roll the check. You don't know it. Okay. Uh, how would we go about... Is there any information about where this moon uh, is? How would they send the drive to the prison moon, though? You you have the flight plan. Oh, we do actually have the. Oh, we <laughs> you have, have the flight plan. flight plan. You but know how to, how to use it yet? You can you can yes you can follow the flight plan. Sorry, that it's was not map. explicitly said. You can follow the flight plan. I didn't know if it was like go to this planet and then go to this other planet that I wouldn't know or something like that. Okay. Nope. How, how hard is it to get a transponder? Um, make a culture check. Murphy will do that because he's wondering that very question. Shardik, uh, you have no clue. Murphy. In fact, you asked the question out loud. <laughs> uh, I did. <laughs> 22, and I have a minus 5 to DC regarding starships and vehicles. Um, it's not a starship, though. Yeah, it's not so much a starship question as it is an Aslan question. Hmm. As far as you know, exactly impossible. It has never happened. What, that somebody has, like, duplicated Gotten an Aslanti transponder, transponder, transponder code or something? Yeah. Code? Yeah. As, as far as you know, no one has ever gotten their hands on an Aslanti transponder. So Dude, is it, like, to be a... First. Is it kind of like in a car where you some of those is that like, a VIN number? Like is it where the compute, like the camera will scan, or the the thing will scan like the little the barcode or whatever that no. you have, and you're sitting in your dashboard. Oh, oh, here, EC Pass. Yeah, or whatever, pass. and it sends it broadcasts <laughs> back to it or whatever. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's um, it opens the gate. Yeah, the the transponder code it's it's an identification. Yeah, it sounds like a basic FFID stuff. Basically, yeah. I mean, it's, so, it is obviously more complex because it's the base. Wait, but so it is effectively just. Uh, 
Uh, Murphy points to the ground we're standing on. This, this, this is an Aslanti ship, right? Make a no. culture check. Is it? <laughs> it is an Aslanti ship. Nineteen. The question. It is a very old Aslanti ship. This is before very uh, old Aslanti or whatever. It's yeah. an older is, code, you, sir, but it you, checks you, out. It, it, it is definitely not. It is. De like... I'm. I'm. They didn't quote that in here, but they were but... anticipating that. I, I assume like... because of that law. That, I feel like that, that will update their codes every you know, it, couple that, of that is that is that is not a little old. It is thousands of years. It is unknown thousands of years. That yeah. that was my first train of thought too, though. <sighs> But it's a good a thought, but it's... so the ship that's out that's in orbit somewhere or like out in the the system. Mm -hmm. It's coming back here. The sil the silver needle. It has a code. That's not a silver needle though, right? Or is it? Isn't yes. there an, isn't there another ship coming back here soon? Yeah, it's yeah. A with the people. There are here. two ships. The silver needle. All you know about it is that it left. Right. And then the Barazad. The Barazad. The Barazad. Which I, I feel okay telling you because, like, you have notes if you want to sort through your notes. Yeah, we've heard that, that before. It's a code, it's, doesn't it? It would. It's it's in um yeah. It's this is the ship that left that Olaraja and um actually it's in uh, Sharu's datapad too. She expects it to come back at some point. Is there any um, kind of clues to how big this ship is, or small, or anything, or is it like a? No, so there are incidental descriptions of the ship in Sharu, and actually, there's more in Olaraja's data pad than in Sharu's, um, because you can you can sort of sort through and find out that um, Olaraja was stationed on the ship. The ship was carrying Sharu and her cadet. They were literally passengers on this ship. Hmm. Okay. Um, it seems that having uh, cadets, uh, this was so. You can see this from her notes. This was not planned when they left port. They were not like chosen. Oh, these are the people who are going to go occupy this planet for the glory of the empire. No, they were like out on a training run, like shooting dummies or stupid xenos or whatever um and they were like told okay now you're going on this other mission you're gonna actually like kill some some alien scum mm -hmm. um this is not yeah. a this is not you you get the feeling <laughs> make it actually it, make an insight check not insight uh sense motive Somebody who is reading can make probably uh, Ozzy make a sense motive on this. No, <laughs> I can. I feel yeah. like I should be able to logic this out. Um. Yeah, she does not say that this is unusual. She does not say what the hell is going on here, but it is strongly implied in some of the ways that she describes the mission before they landed. She it, it, must have she figured upset something. that she was forced to do this by the uh, captain of the ship? Um, with a sense motive of three and the fact that this is all written in professional language intended to go to her superior and entirely reviewed by oh. her superior who is the person who ordered this to happen you, you don't get any hint of anger now. So the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. She may very well be angry. She may very just... well be any other kinds of thing. It is not overt at all. I'm wondering if um, we can commandeer the other ship and take it to Golta. Maybe. Golta. Uh, what, 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 uh, what information is there to get from her logs from her time on this ship? Um, I mean, she made, um, they're relatively abbreviated entries. Um, she is, and this, this is not nearly coded. She is obviously frustrated that she's not able to contact 
um, the rest of her cadets, that she's not able to contact Olaraja, that she's not able to contact the Barazad. Um, she's kind of annoyed that it's their own signal jammer that's doing it. Uh, this is this is annoying. She does not. She you can see that she was the one doing the work. She was. He actually teaching the cadets. These are a couple of cadets who she sort of who she likes a lot, um, and they're they're sort of the the brightest senior cadet and the brightest junior cadet, and they're the ones who oh. she thinks might make good like programmers or operatives or something mm. like that. Um, and so she brought them with her to the bridge for a reason, so that she could show them how this hacking is going, how this disassembling disassembly is going um she did not want it to take this long but she is willing to stay for him if she has to no mention of the zombies i guess no actually so she didn't come in she she does mention briefly um that she took the quick way in so she came in if i remember correctly she came in the door and then went straight through this way, through this door. We can't. Here. Yeah, you're blocked. It's, oh, that's it's, right. It's, it's, it's all good. blocked out. Let me. Um, hold on. Can I just reveal all the secrets? Oh, I can just turn it off. So she um, came in and then went down this way. And I believe they blasted this area here um, to like open a stuck door or something, which then later collapsed. They caused this collapse. Uh. And then she just went here, posted the guards, and then in this way. So she did not, they didn't encounter, they didn't go in this room at all. They didn't go in this room at all, which is hilarious. Uh, they didn't go in here either, and this door was jammed from. So wow. like, they actually didn't encounter any of the the crazy. They're not thorough. Um, we, no, we, we killed some pre-gab zombies, guys. Because uh, yeah, they were they were here nice. for one reason, which was to go in here, figure out the computers. It's so cool. Interesting. Hmm. I mean, that's really cool, but that really ruins my zombie apocalypse plan. Because mm. if, you're, if you're saying zombies can last forever, you can't wait them out. <laughs> yeah, um, those, the, um, we should there, rescue some zombies. Parting the curtain a little bit. Those zombies <laughs> were created when the ship crashed. Right. Mm. That was and they've been magic. there, and they're mindless. They don't. They don't know how to open a door. Uh, that, was, that was some necromantic magic of some kind. I mean, and you, you know, think they would like fiber. run away at some point? Can I guess we take a rest? You sure can. And okay. um, can we take I... a three-week rest? <laughs> I would also like to uh, t uh, access this fancy data pad. Okay, make me fancy. a computer's check. I think good enough. Remind me what happens when you fail. You have um, a thing, yes? Yeah. I immediately become aware of any countermeasures that were activated due to my failure, and I can select one of the countermeasures and attempt another computer's check with the same DC as the original, and uh, if I succeed, then I prevent that countermeasure from activating. Okay. Uh, no countermeasures were activated uh, as part of your failure. Would you like to try again? Could I just take 20 on this? Is that a thing? Yes. Yeah, I can take it. Can, can you just take I'm pretty 20? sure. Because there are consequences, uh, I, you can't because there are consequences to fail. Can, can I aid? I can aid, right? Yes, you can take 10, but you cannot take 20. Because oh. taking... T taking 20 assumes you're just trying. I mean, if you want to accept any possible failure that this thing yeah, might have... If, if you enter the, the wrong password, 
ten times to times. erase the data. Yeah. You could, you could, like, part of taking 20 is you just try and try and try and try until you get it. So if there are possible failure consequences, I don't think you, act, you know, I don't think by the rules you can. Which is just kind of a thing I have to tell. Uh, if, if you take 20 on a computer's check to hack a system with countermeasures without first disabling or destroying them, the countermeasures are automatically activated. There you go. So you can do it if you want. Right. Um. Can you can, can try to help me. Sure. Hold on to it till later. You. That's no fun. Well, it's not like I'm gonna be any better at it later than I am right now. <laughs> Have you I mean, some new I mean, that's not you, true. Yes. <laughs> Aid. Okay. I, I, aided, I aided it for 16. So are you going to yes. take 20 or are you going to roll? I'm going to roll. Okay. All right. Natural then. 20. Oh. That will sure do it. Um, or whatever. So you are able to discover that the countermeasure that this has is particularly interesting. I'm, I'm going to give you the actual information, but I want you to know what you didn't get. You didn't get cursed. Uh, yeah. This thing has a curse. If you fail by five or more, you fail by four. Um, oh, you have to make a will save or be inflicted with an ancient Aslanti curse. Um, sure, I'll even a, say you, you get to know what the curse is. A cursed data pad? It is I the, like that. It is, so yeah, so that's, it, that's what the Aeon Stone is. It powers the curse. Oh. It, it powers the defense system. Um, also, if you remove, if you attempt to remove the, the stone pad, so don't right, do right. that. Um, lesser curse of the ravenous. So will DC save a fifteen? Uh, you treat every four hours as a day for starvation and thirst, and are immune to effects that prevent the need for sustenance, such as that granted by a clear spindle Aeon stone. Uh, Sharu was probably pretty happy she didn't fail. Uh, or that removes starvation or thirst. The cure, and like I know there is zero chance Zyson would be it would be the person to attempt to hack this. <laughs> but I yeah, really wanted him to get this curse no. because the cure is that you must drink only water and eat only flavorless. Gr oh oh no. my god! What, what is the would be the life. worst? Yeah. The worst me. for him. Slay me. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> I read that and was like, ooh, Zyson, Zyson, because rereading it again, you know, I, I didn't have a... anyone in mind when I first time, and then realized, no, it's just on the data pad. It's not like on a door or something. Very sad. Um, the actual information on the data pad um, is, uh, I'll give you three highlights here. Um, the data pad and the Royal Venture property of one Parept, which is, um, actually, no, you don't know. Parept Ameondria. Uh, Ameondria herself made several key technomagical discoveries that enabled the creation of the rune drive using an Aeon Stone from the Aeon Throne itself. Oh, interesting. Her final de entries detail several days of the prototype rune drive's first interstellar journey. And of course, mm. you may ask any questions because there's there is more information on it than that. Like I, I said to Shardik before, um, there are patches, particularly like there are no dates. The dates are completely garbled. Um, they are like sunshines and pictures of cats and and whatever else, like emojis it's or whatever it's, you know, emoji. whatever as Lancey have in 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 the in the place of emojis. It, it, it's a like Super Mario Brothers when you. Do the trick too games. many lives and it rolls over? Yeah. Or Pokemon, we have too many rare candies. So <laughs> you know, it's there. It, you're not going to be able to find out how long the gap hmm. just by the it doesn't give you that. Oh, uh, so the but you do get they they some narrative information. Floating point, and they should have done. So the, the floating points. Let me guess. The uh, the gap the was final actually Y2K. The final entries of uh, several days of the. In, uh, first journey ends in a crash death. Uh, well, there's no ending. She 
it did not um, journal was, the crash. What was the last That's entry? Completely mundane. Cool. As such things usually are. So is prepped like a title? Make a culture check. You have no clue. Um, you can you can gather though from this that she is someone obviously very important. Um, her um, she does you know she never says you know my cousin the emperor or my mother the empress or any or like you know my father who is you know governor or like a planet I am governor of or anything you know she never says anything super because like her journal knows who she is um but there are just hints here and there you know as you read through it of like she's clearly very important um again this is called this ship is called the royal venture it is her ship uh she i mean this is very advanced technology for pre-gap she's somebody interesting um and and you gather that you know that this was her room in here and she actually mentions the robot she was particularly fond of the robot fuck that that was a racist ass robot well she's probably also racist Mm. wait which which robot the, the computer system was racist the robot just tried to murder we never really talk much mm-hmm. with the computer system. We kind of were like, eh, we don't need you. Well, well no, it, it, it said it wouldn't talk to us because we were not as lanty. Yeah, we don't need that kind of toxicity in our lives. <laughs> so, so we just blocked her from Twitter and moved on with our lives. Well, fuck yeah. <laughs> Basically, yeah. It's canceled. Does anyone else have any questions? Uh, I just... This all looks pretty shitty to me. I think we should try to run and find Sedona when we can, I guess. I, I, I don't know if your data pack can answer the question, but where is the Aeon throne? Oh, uh, yeah. Is there, um, like, any mention of the Islanti homeworld in anything? There are casual references to various... Um planets um none of which would be directly stated you know again you don't necessarily say you know like atlanta which is my hometown like now you know people don't say that right um but you could make a culture check i will reduce the dc because you have some of um locations in the empire to see if any of them ring a bell and anyone can can definitely make that check. And I am going to uh, look in the book that tells me because I don't remember the name. Nope. Uh, Shardik remembers. Nope. Zyson also remembers. Let's see. The capital world is New Thespera. It is the home world of the Is- home world, second home world of the Aslanti, and uh, where is old Thespera? It is where, uh, presum- <laughs> presumably, on on Lost Galarian, one would assume, um, mm-hmm. because that's where they originally came from. Um, they are humans, um, and uh, that is that is. I mean, you'd assume that's where the Aeon, the literal Aeon, is. What um, is the Aeon Throne? The Aeon Throne is presumably the throne upon which the Emperor sits, or Empress sits, whoever. Or maybe it's a station. You don't really know. Um, you've never asked an Aslanti that. Aeon Throne. Um, the Aeon Throne. The title I, I, of the adventure path. <laughs> the the Atlantia are the only people who have the Aeon stones, right? No, 
you no. can get Aeon Stones. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, they are. They are. They exist in the Pact. Them, um, the Aslanti are known for using them in unique ways, um, and for having. You know, you might assume that they probably have some that you can't get at, you know, Mega Mart, uh, or, uh, or that um, Abadar Corp doesn't sell at every single locations because you can you can get a clear spindle aeon stone basically anywhere they are very they're a level so one i guess item. we gotta figure out what to do next in terms of getting so so up. does the data pad say how to create a rune drive does like, it, is it say like a recipe or it a... does not say how to create one per se but it sure does give you a lot how it works um, you definitely couldn't build one with this. Um, you obviously don't have an Aeon Stone that's powerful enough either. Right, I have to go um, to the Aeon Throne to get one. But, well, I was trying to uh, figure out. you know, should you at some point discover this rune drive, it would the information <coughs> on this would certainly be helpful. Um, also, you think you could probably, you could this, like, you could, you could just wipe all the information from this uh, and sell it for, I think it's a thousand credits. Yeah, it's kind... Can we change the information on it? Yeah, I kind of want to sure. keep it for personal use. I, I have a terrible idea. An awful idea. Will we change the uh, information? I, 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 they capture us. They have incorrect information. It, it, yeah, that was my idea. But first, we're going to copy the, the information to some, uh, some other place and keep that. Or that sounds like a thing changed. to do when you are back at your ship. Yeah, we should go back to the ship. Um, is Plus, there anything to, else you would this computer? But computer. Is yeah. there anything else you would like to do while you are? Uh, you have not like searched the entire place. Um, well, for one thing, I would, I would I would like to, to take do that. One, I would like to take one of the pistols and as much ammo as I can scrounge up. Already, give yourself fifteen ammo. 15 cool. small arms well oh yeah no yeah fifth yeah 15 take 15 small arms uh because did you take the ammo from the three guys in here i don't remember i don't think so because they would each have like six say and there are three of them so 12 18 That's right. Okay. Um, in this, in the bridge, are there any containers, basically? We did a pretty uh, good job of searching the place already, right? No, this is a pretty open space. You, you have searched this pretty thoroughly. I want to search this room. Um, you can look around. Murphy, did you take everything? I think <laughs> you took everything, didn't you? Oh, never mind. What do you have in your inventory? Oh, from the medical facility? Yeah, that's what Shardux looking at. Yes, I, I grabbed every damn thing I could carry. Um, okay. Was... Uh, so Shardux, you mostly find empty. Okay. What I about mean... here? I, I'm trying to figure out where we haven't searched. Uh, so this room is, um, you can go in here and make a perception. There's there's mold in there. Be careful. Oh, oh there, that's the there mold room. Goes. Yeah. Yep. There's mold. It's moldy, slimy. Don't. Yeah, we have uh, an antitoxin here, but uh, you know. All right, can you just see Bobbert? Yeah, Bobbert. Yeah, Bobbert was not destroyed when it went through, but Bobbert's also not alive. Well, he's yeah, alive Bobbert's to immune to disease and things. Ugh. Okay. Perception. Give me a perception like... check. Like go, Bobby. Dead. Go. <sighs> Um, I have a camera. Somebody else do that. Ooh. Yeah, yes. Robert has a camera now. I, I saw that nifty upgrade. Yes, I basically jury rigged it out of the cyborg's eye. There you go. That's that's how I'm explaining that. Um, Excellent. And so, can I use that to make perception checks instead of Bobbert? 
I think you still make Bobbert perception checks. All right. But you get to see in all that he can. And 18 is pretty good. Um, It's mostly icky. Um, There's not. Mm -hmm. I'm going to double check, but I'm pretty sure. Galley. Yeah. Uh, It's a galley. Um, There's nothing of value or interest in this room. Chardik, are you searching the room you are in? Might as well. Okay. Uh, That room mostly just contains beds and foot lockers. I'm going to try to find the Banana Republic. What's in the foot lockers? Uh, You... do you just like methodic? They are all locked. Um, you have plenty of time that you can force them or jimmy the locks if you want. I'm yeah, going to yeah. make you roll if you want to do that. Oh, um, I would like to take out my personal. Well, no, uh, I don't take out my personal comm unit. It's in my face. Um, I press a button on my temple and I uh, try to call Medellin's land. Okay. Uh, you go through and you get. Um, oh gosh, what's her name? Chatter, Chatterbug. Chatterbug answers. Yes. Hey, Chatterbug. How, how are the skies looking over there? She says, she, is she uh, takes a second and says, I'll go check. I'll go check the radar and give me 15 minutes. Yep. Okay, guys. Uh, uh, yeah, let's open some boxes. Hmm. Okay. So you methodically open the boxes. Um, most of them have nothing of particular interest. It looks like um, they presumably carried personal effects um, and clothing, the clothing which you would have expected to have disintegrated, uh, and you do not find any actual clothing. But in one of the lockers, you find an amulet of camouflage, Mm -hmm. which I haven't actually looked up. Mm -hmm. Amulet of camouflage. Amulet of camouflage. This modest amulet projects a simple pattern over your outer layers of armor, clothing, and equipment, which helps you blend into the background. In an environment with a maximum distance at which perception checks can be attempted, rolls to see at what range other creatures can attempt perception checks against you are rolled twice, and the lower result applies. Uh, wow. Yeah, so um, it doesn't give you bonus to stealth or make you invisible, but when either people are trying to see you and you're far away, they take basically disadvantage on their perception checks. That is neat. Who gets the amulet? Um, well, aren't isn't Murphy kind of our scout? I, I suppose yeah, yeah, so. Murphy's really good at hiding already. I guess that's fair. Should we give it to somebody else so they can scout it with Murphy? Yeah, it's someone already who's... have pretty decent stealth, so probably someone else. Although it is Graham. It's got the worst stealth. It's not Graham rolling. It's the DM rolling. Uh-huh. I'm just thinking out loud. Um, it should bear. be given to somebody who is obvious. Like a big fat honking bear, huh? <laughs> I was going to take this guy's self. Bears have never been known to blend into the world. Ever. Yeah, bears are not yeah. good hiding. That's definitely true. Um, well, except for drop bears. I'll take it. Sure, Captain deserves some loot. I guess, unless Shardik wants it. I I don't really want it. I I just want to give uh, Graham a hard time. Well, then it's settled. I'll take it. <laughs> How much does it? Wait, what is it called? Am, uh, amulet of camouflage. Camouflage. Star. 
anything else you would like to do before you depart? Or do you not depart? Do you want to camp out? What time of day is it? Can I peek outside? It is, um, it's like mid morning. I think we should go back. It's like 11. Yeah, I agree. And be in a town that we know is relatively safe. Or at least have people to talk to. Mm. And we can sell some stuff. Yeah, there's definitely some stuff I'd like to unload. Okay, we're going to head back then. Alrighty. Um, as you pass through this room, you notice that the glowing uh, ball in the robot is still gently pulsing. Oh, this must be an Aeon Stone. I'll make a mysticism check. <laughs> Having the information that I have now. Good call. Oh, wait, hold on. It's He's in the back. It is Maybe definitely an Aeon Stone. What is it? It is. So, make a miss. 20 is good enough. It is an Iridescent Spindle Aeon Stone. And I don't remember what that one does. These are just Ion stones from Pathfinder. Yeah, except now they're called Aeon stone. And have the same names too. Iridescent. Why don't you tell me? Did you spell iridescent correctly? It's just, I mean, it gives me the list. And I don't want the list. I want the actual This sustains you by uh, negating the need to breathe. There you go. Who doesn't want to have to breathe? That could be very mm. useful. In that one's space. a level two. I'll uh, keep holding it too, unless nobody wants it. <laughs> unless you want it, Murphy. Are you going to be in space anytime soon? I mean, we're all going to be in space. Yeah. Um... I mean, think about it, we're all in space now. And then the robot also has a gun you could take. You'd have to work it? on it. It'd take you an hour to uh, detach it from the robot. But are we going to take a, the robot? It has a laser gun. What type of gun is it? Uh, give me a check. A check. It is an azimuth la laser rifle. Okay. Azimuth laser rifle. More than I've seen long arms, before, eh? Like yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I it's like that. a level one laser rifle. Yeah, it's not too yep. good. It's the basic laser rifle. But given that you were not in the habit of collecting long arms before now, since none of you could use them, I'll just keep the Eon Eon Guard one. Alrighty, uh, it is at this point that uh... what's her name again? Chatterbug comes back on the. Uh, calm and she says is this is this Captain Yulia uh yes is everything okay everything everything is not okay hmm? the ship is coming back it's huh? coming back you have to come help us uh, it's, okay it's it's still several hours out from from the planet, but it is definitely back in this part of the system. Hurry! Oh shit! How do you know this? Oh, I mean, fuck. we're on our way now, but also, how do you know this? We have detected it on our radar. Can you tell how big it is? It is ship sized. <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> hmm. We'll uh, be there shortly in a couple of hours. <laughs> All right. And that's where we will pick up next week. Woo! Awesome. Nice. Well done. Yeah. I need to get rid of some of this crap. I'm encumbered now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys.
<laughs> you have a lot of stuff. Uh, it is kind of unfortunate that things sell at 10% value mm. in Starfinder, because you just have They're to lug around a bunch of stuff. GameStop you, prices. You need me to carry anything? And this is like, you know, there are no shops on... So. Oh. I, I remember having this problem with a D&D campaign where... We 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 got so fed up with the ten percent, you know, the the crappy resale value that we just opened up our own shop. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Just traveling merchants. I'm I'm already kind of like um, a Khajiit, so Khaj <laughs> Khajiit has wares. <laughs> if you have coin, are you gonna start selling Credit? scuba? I fuck am. Uh, cool. Well, hopefully we can defend. Madeline's landing from this invading ship. Perhaps you can. And perhaps I'll have a voice. Next time on Really Playing Game Starfinder against the Aeon Throne. <laughs>